Yes. You got to protect it. See, that's exactly Gone. what I mean. That's exactly. You can't play with the ball right. around here. You cannot play with the ball. Yep. Aren't able to come down with the rebound. Monk blocked by Beverly. And then Beasley gets the basketball, gets it ahead to Pat Ben. Off nights missing open looks. How about Patrick Beverly? Offensive rebound and put back. Beverly knocks it free for a moment. Shot clock winning down. Yes, it is. And then the Wolves come up with the basketball. McDaniels takes it the distance. Bucket for Minnesota. Patrick Beverly being the pest that he is, created that in the four. And the key here that he said and that great. Beverly, the hesitation, the spin, the window. He said clear out, I want him by myself. And it is Beverly taking the ball away from Luka. So the Pels in good shape when you consider. Minnesota hasn't done a thing wrong. And this is Beverly has hit two threes and hits another. Morant against Beverly. Beverly, Morant regathers and it'll be a shot clock violation. The Timberwolves take it away. Beverly was ready for that pass. Edwards drops the dime for Vanda. Edwards is playing phenomenal. Beverly. Bouncing into Surge and Lee. To go with 35 points, 8 assists. Oh, Beverly just read that. That's a heck of a steal. His back door. Beautiful pass there. Okay. Tickets had it knocked away. Beverly. Triple that high dribble as D'Lo will step around and flip it in. Minnesota World Coach, too. And Beverly steals it from Luka. And Beverly will run out to the three-point line. Is going to try to tie the game, which is exactly what he did. We know he can make shots. LeBron blocked by Patrick Beverly. Battles the floor six to shoot, and then step back and heave one. Wow. And he got it. Pat Bev, technically a Lakers draft pick years ago. The spin for a very, very solid, savvy play. He mentions too, they have equaled their biggest lead of the game, and another three-point opportunity for that same man, Patrick Beverly. Shot clock down to six. Beverly floats and hit. Fakes it once, twice, the dish. Go bear. One more time and one. Nope. They're going to call away that, that bucket away and call a jump ball. Oh, Beverly strips Paul George. Edwards for Vanderbilt. And was holding them up and showing them to Carl Anthony Towns. And Mark Lurie and his crew over there right now with their shoes off again. Another three. A perpetual rebuild. They have had some interesting pieces, in particular Carl Anthony Towns as Pat Beverly. Ball blocked from behind, and then a foul here is going to get called on Lamelo. It's been evident here early on. You talked about the energy in the building. It really trickles down to the players as Pat Bev did his feel on Bobby Portis. Beverly looking for another three, and he's got his <laughs> fifth of the game. Beverly. Nice move by Pat Bev to get the finish. <laughs> and then he had a word for Oh, no, he's, he's done. He just got an early exit. Uh-oh, there we go. Powell inside, and Beverly comes over to knock oh. it free. Morant splitting through, and then had it swiped. Beverly. Beverly. Thing, say, why, you, why you want to skip steps? Let him, let him be a six-man of the year candidate. Nice job. Saying long yeah. term. Beverly plays a little keep away. Shot clock at seven. Steps back and fires and fills it. That's a killer, killer make for Patrick Beverly. Short rolling out of ball screen actions. Beverly spins. Beautiful. Finishes. Inbounds to Patrick Beverly. Killian tapped it away. Beverly goes to get it. Shot clock at two. Beverly from in front and scores it. With the shot clock running out. For the shot clock. The ball's still outside. Right. And an easy pass to take away for Beverly. Beverly? Little sky hook action from Pat Bev. Beverly scoring unchecked, getting to the rim. Now on the inbounds, the Blazers take over. Lillard put the dribble down under the pressure of Beverly, and he lost it. Beverly throwing up again off the glass. <laughs> oh, Tommy Heinsohn hook. To this young man's game, he leads them in scoring right now. And averaging 7-7 seven seven as Pat Bev gets the floater to go. Uh, Jazz don't have a longer streak as Pat Bev gets the end one opportunity. He'll go for three the conventional way. Beyond. Beverly. 
and Patrick Beverly takes a shot to the face, a chance for an and one. Jokic the extra pass, they find Green stripped by Beverly. They get it away just in time, and Beverly's matched a season high. Over this 10 game stretch, he's averaging over 14 a game. Pat Bell nice gets drive, that one yes. Go. A lot of contact on that drive. Russell out of the corner. Beverly, an offensive rebound, puts it back up and in. And did he get fouled? He did. Unbelievable. Brandon Williams, who played really well for Portland here on Saturday, had a career high 21 points. Beverly with the block. Heald had it blocked. Sure did. I thought he got fouled. Offensive foul. And watch it on TV. And then how about Pep Beth not get the ball free again? All the situational basketball you have to know as a head coach is Pat Beth makes a really hard shot. Meanwhile, the T-Wolves have been bringing the heat tonight. Here's a three on one. Beverly Russell Beasley. This crowd is a little exasperated at the Lakers effort. Defensive rebounding. You can just tell by the buzz in the stands. And Beverly hits the three time. With a Jack of the Box halftime report. Beverly. <laughs> a little jump hook over Anthony Davis here by Pat Beverly. Lays it off. Blocked by AD. Just one to shoot. They're not. Oh, he got bailed out. Count it two. All the reserves are to play tonight for the Purple and Gold. Beverly over TH2. Beverly, the block from behind. Pat Bev draws the foul here on Rosso Neal. And one for PB. Yes, sir. Morant blocked by Beverly. As Beverly looks back and has words for Morant. A Kogi goes back to the Wait, D'Angelo Russell getting a rest on the bench right now. Third. Their belief was when they had the lottery, when they were in the lottery, there would be Beverly against Frank Jackson. Screen from town. Beverly to the lane. Half hook and he hit it. He looks one of the most competitive guys in this league. Beverly, ball fake, three. Is good! Patrick Beverly! In game two, he finished with 15 points, 11 boards. Probing, Beverly, nice up fake for two. Yeah, but they've been contested shots as well. Crossover, Beverly, another fake, and another bucket! It's never an obstacle for Coach Chris Finch. Beverly can get under your skin, takes it away from Bain! Kick out from McDaniels, Beverly, Curly Neal style, missed it, follows and gets it to go! Some sauce from Pat Bev. It's a lazy pass. Russell ahead. Beverly slams! Patrick Beverly climbs the imaginary ladder. And they got, how they did it was they were able to do this right here, get in the paint. Morant stripped of the ball. Beverly, 9-0 Minnesota run. Shot clock at six. Bain denied by Beverly. And a jump ball is called. Here comes Bain. Bain lost it himself. Clark gets blocked by Beverly. So that's just a young guy showing leadership right there and putting all the focus on this playoff bout. And Chris, that trophy. Beverly all the way, drives, layup, count it, and the foul. A little coast-to-coast -coast action from Patrick Beverly. Is he a smart player? Beverly a three-pointer. It's good. Team winning streak in this building. Got to start another one. That will do it. Your final score, Timberwolves, 127 Cavs.